We're really at the beginning of this whole new era of whale research. In the past, I collect the data, I go back home, and I spent months sorting through it. The fact that Intel's giving us the opportunity through AI to review the data streams as they're coming in with the computing power to match and compare images means that I can be much more efficient in the field. We really believe that drone and artificial intelligence technology together can make it possible to both identify the whales and give them a health score, which give us a good idea of the health of the whale and by extension the ocean. The algorithms that we use can look at an image of the fluke or the tail to identify the whale. It can pick up on patterns that we can't even see in terms of the shape of the fluke, the color of the fluke, the speckled patterns on the fluke, and that's really useful. It may take years for a human to figure out what features matter, but for a good machine learning or artificial intelligence algorithm, that can be done in seconds. Well, the fact that I can be standing half a mile off from a group of whales, listening to them, measuring them, collecting biological data, processing that data with Intel, I mean, it's making all of this incredibly cost-effective. The health of that water is key to human health, and whales are a great barometer to the health of the ocean. And so by studying them, we get a good sense of how we're all doing.